right, greetings to you all. So in this video, I'm actually gonna talk about three things that uh, I am doing and hopefully you can pull some um, some insights and some ideas from this. So I'm gonna talk about just the planning of uh, my service business, this home inspection business, or that's the first part I'm, I'm starting with. And then um, just getting insights for the planning and how I'm going about it. And then uh, the third point is just gonna be realigning uh, the ideas that I do come up with uh, with my ultimate goal and that should always be the number one thing you should be focused on so you don't lose uh, you don't lose track on why you're doing all this for um, if you're new to this channel my name is Anthony and basically I'm just going to be uh, this channel is about me documenting the process of starting my um, just starting a business all over again or I guess I used to have a home inspection business uh, dissolved it didn't set it up right so this time I'm actually going to do a lot more so that um it's just just functions as a real business and i can eventually sell it and i'm just going to be documenting my process so you can pick up some things when you're doing your own journey so uh because i've been in this industry before it's there's some things i already know so the first thing when it comes to the plan of how i'm doing it is okay so it's 2024 about to have uh the u.s uh presidential election so and then a lot of people or just from from what it's looking like because it's, um inflation is really high and all this other stuff uh, economically with the country i'm thinking that there might be a recession going into 2025 so i've read enough books literature documentaries that a lot of good businesses start at the worst time so when it's like a depression or a recession a lot of good business get started it may is because you got to tighten up. You got to really be on your game and it makes you more uh, stronger in, in the, obviously in the tough times because you started in a tough time. But when it gets to the good times, you can really capitalize on it. So as I'm planning this home inspection business, so it's going to have four parts. So it's going to be regular residential um, inspections. Then I'm going to have commercial. I'm later on within the year. Uh, within like 12 months of starting it i'm going to go into waterproofing uh, of basements and then septic in inspections and i picked those two because just from being an inspection an inspector before i know those are two big ticket items that are more specialized so especially with the waterproofing is kind of interesting just because of the area i live there's a lot of basements so but those are the four main things and now as i'm thinking okay if there's going to be a recession or whatever how can i make sure that my business is can can last and then actually grow and thrive so i'm just come up with different ideas on how i can add more sources of income so uh i just use chat gbt and because i've used chat gbt so many times I know how to really write in the prompt. So ChatGPT is just a tool. If you just put in any type of generic message or question or whatever, you're gonna get a generic response. But if you know how to really dig deep into what you're trying to pull out from ChatGPT, then it can be very powerful. So uh, just been asking it different questions from my own knowledge and then just asking for tips and stuff like that. So I got some good ideas. One thing I do wanna add is like an email list and um just kind of make it so that it's valuable to realtors and investors like i don't want to be one thing i, I know i don't want to do because i've seen it done before it's just not effective is just be a home inspection business that just gives general tips now from my experience most people don't care at this point people know what a home inspector does they don't want home care tips once they get the house they're not going to look at that stuff and so a lot of i notice or I guess it's typical a lot of home inspection businesses they just fall into that trap of okay let me just keep you keep giving you home tips now me when i had it so i used to have rental property i didn't look at them home tips i wasn't research like it wasn't top of mind like i got other stuff i got to worry about most people are not staying up to date on their maintenance because of the money financially whatever so it's just it's just not something of value so that's one thing um I've been really focusing on when it comes to planning the business, how can I make it, how can I bring in different streams of uh, income for the worst time? So I'm not thinking about the good times. If it gets, if the situation gets um, gets better, then that's excellent. 
but I'm trying to plan for the worst time so that I'm good regardless. Another part of the plan is just how to make it scalable. So this is where it comes into processes and systems. I didn't do this the first time around when I started the first business, it was just me. Now I was going out doing the inspections. If I was tired, I wasn't able to do it. If I wanted to take a vacation, I couldn't do inspections, Not like nothing was bringing the money in. And I just didn't have anything online that I can continuously, like some type of residual income or reoccurring um, income. So I didn't have that. So, um, so I didn't have any systems. I didn't have any standard operating procedures. It just nothing was set up that way. So it just wasn't sellable. Whenever you build a business, because of all the stress you have to go through and every all the all the stuff you have to learn. It only makes sense to make sure you you build a business that can actually sell and how you know if it's going to sell. There's different ways. There's plenty of books. I read a lot of books on this. I saw a lot of interviews. Basically, you just want to you you want the business to operate like a machine. It's making money and that you're not dependent on maybe one or two realtors to give you business or something like that. It has to have multiple streams of income, it has to have some good intellectual property that just makes it valuable so that when the next person takes it on they it's just a transfer of of ownership everything is already running they don't really have to do anything in there so yeah so uh, i'm going through just how to make it scalable what else can i do i'm still i'm writing out my thoughts and i'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to go about it and then uh the third point i'm doing when i'm playing this business is how can i make it how can i get a global reach because i'm thinking okay if it's a recession in america if all my money is in America, I'm still, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm trying to be diverse in this. If all my sources of income in Amer is in America, sure, I can do good, but I'm still going to take a significant hit if it's the worst case scenario of recession or depression or whatever. But if I have maybe one or two sources of income that are coming out, like, uh, that are global uh, or from other countries or whatever, then I can still manage like I, I still got something coming in despite what's going on in the u.s uh, i can still pay employees i can still keep them on the clock there's something i can still do so i'm just trying to figure out okay multiple streams of income how do i get that going all right so uh the second thing just getting insight so when it comes to this because i've been a home inspector before i kind of already know uh, what to expect what's valuable what works what doesn't work uh, the biggest thing i do is so for uh, a home inspector it's not the clients itself that are going to give you the business like sure. Yeah. At the down the line, it's really the realtors you need to build relationships with and in and, and business. Everything is about relationships, especially the home inspection business. So what I'm doing is I'm asking old realtors, Hey, what's like your biggest pain point? What is the difficult, the most difficult part of uh, just running your own real estate company business or whatever? Like, wh where do you get stuck at? What can make it easier? Feedback I pretty much got was just um, lead generation. That's the biggest thing. So I'm trying to think of ways, okay, how can I add value in that capacity? Just because I'm a home inspection business doesn't mean I can't do anything else. So once again, I'm thinking of the worst case scenario for economically for a country. I'm thinking of multiple streams of income and I'm thinking about, okay, principles. How do you create value and it's in order for people to look at you rather than anyone else? So you're trying to be unique. So that's one thing uh, I'm looking at. So talking to realtors and just use my own knowledge because I have like insider knowledge of the, the business. And then the third thing I'm doing is uh, as I'm doing all these plans, getting these ideas, using ChatGPT to help me out. I'm always tying it to my end goal. My end goal is to be in West Africa. I do not want to stay here. So whatever whatever i'm i'm doing i'm trying to make sure okay are there skills i can build that can help me when i go to the next stage of being in west africa building businesses over there how can i implement how can i start learning them those skills now how can i start gaining those capabilities now what do i have to do how can i put that in the business and then i can still so when i do sell the business i can still carry that over to the next thing so and then of course being global uh i always looking at like the this is a global world it's a global economy everyone's doing trades like there's no more barriers because of the internet i'm trying to put myself there so that my company stands out and it looks really 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 good to someone that wants to buy it so those are the three things um i'm doing right now just this planning stage 
uh, always trying to make sure that it aligns with my my end goals and my focus and, and all that stuff so right now um part of the 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 capabilities and skills that i'm trying to learn is uh blockchain i got a book on blockchain I haven't read it yet uh so blockchain internet of things i want to do something in tech because tech is always going to be big it's always going to be lucrative so just learning skills along the way until it gets to the point where hey i can really do something with it um trying to learn more about logistics and supply chain that's tied more to my future goals and what i want to do with that so i'm trying to see how can i implement some of those skills in this business that i'm building uh right now so uh, i'm just trying to make sure see how i can fit it all and then uh market research in the real estate game so i do want to be more informed about how real estate uh, real estate deals happen how do you get a good deal like that type of stuff i don't really know too much i don't know too much about the money aspect of transactions i want to be better at that because i can always take those skills and um take it to west africa but also for the realtors for what i want to do how can i add value i need to understand what they're looking at and if i can understand it then i can find and ask them okay where are you having trouble with then i can add some value there so anything you do when you're starting a business you're always trying to look at how you can create value don't be cookie cutter like everybody else most people are not going to be doing what i'm doing uh, most people are just going to do just okay let's just say you're a baker just gonna start a bakery and that's it and it's just like okay it's just a, to me it's like a one trick pony like maybe you could do more maybe you could teach classes on bacon or something like that bring in more streams of income but anyway so that's what i'm learning and that's how i'm setting up uh my business so still got some drafting some things to really figure out so that it's all um organized and uh i'll probably have i'm, I'm trying to i might have like a banker or somebody else look at it just to see or maybe maybe someone that a broker that does like uh, deals sells businesses i might try to have them look at it to see okay does this look good what would you change what is like a top tier business small business that you can sell easily probably try to get their insight and then of course it's building a relationship with that person so that when i do get to that to that point hey because this person was telling me what i should do it, it works it works in my favor so anyways um if you're doing your own planning for your own business let me know or i guess what are some of the things that you're trying to do so that your business is really healthy and, it, and it's strong if you're starting over let me know what are you doing differently and uh if this was helpful to you let me know what was helpful just so i know so i'll see you in the next video